All right, the time has came. We're getting ready to go pick up Dylan's dad. Dylan's behind the camera. Obviously, here I am. And we're going back to her hunting farm up in northern Kentucky. We're going to have to make a few pit stops, maybe get some gas, and then we're going to stop, get a few groceries, and then we're going to make our way to the hunting farm. Hopefully, we're going to look for some morel mushrooms when we get there today and hopefully kill another turkey. Should be a good weekend. The weather's going to be really nice tomorrow, so stay tuned. See no beard, I think it's a hen. Mushrooms. All right guys, we got to the farm about an hour ago. We got all of our gear and all of our food and everything unloaded. And we couldn't wait to get in the woods and look for morel mushrooms. Mark's already going ahead of us trying to find them before we get over there. So we're gonna slip through here and find some mushrooms. Woo! I can't do it. <laughs> Is that one gone? Yeah. That yeah. was way off, wasn't it? <laughs> Trying to locate us some turkeys for the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you how to make them gobble. <clears throat> Scale of one to ten. How good did you sleep? I slept real good. <laughs> I say we hook it. He's too close to be trying to go out through there, right towards any out in the open field. If it was me, I'd go through that gate, <coughs> go down into the holler, and then walk the creek up that way, or hop right up on top of the ridge. Getting ready to fly down. Yeah, fly right down to a big pack full of hens. <laughs> About 20 hens. Then we really won't be able to see him. That's a long walk. Hey. <laughs> I was your age, I used to run up the hills like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coon hunt all night. That's the reason I said a while ago, I don't know if I'd keep up with you and stay. I do. What'd you say? I was just filming. <laughs> oh, I thought I saw a deer. Let's try to get the sunlight right. 
Sorry about that. <laughs> I really can't tell where he's at, especially when he don't gobble. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Just gobble every now and then. Got 25 hands running around. <laughs> we can't find no mushrooms. We can't get on no turkeys. Turkeys quit gobbling. They never did gobble that good. They gobbled a little bit when we started. Now they've quit. Today's about been a bust. It's been a tough one. It's Saturday evening. Me and Steven came out here and set up in this old field. Just trying to kill a turkey. Maybe roost one for the morning. We're just hoping we'll see something across this field. It'll be dark in just a little bit. Wish us luck. If he comes this way, shoot it right in the head. Get him again, get him again, get him again. Son, you peppered his hide. Dang it. Grab my gun, let's go after him. I think he might be dead. He's gotta be hurting pretty bad. You you peppered him, dude. The first shot. I didn't think he'd come in close. How'd he act the last two shots? He was hitting him. I was? Yeah, he was flopping, kicking, carrying on like crazy. Alright, let's listen, let's listen. He was that close. I thought he went over in the woods. It had to have been him that we seen go up over there. The coyote hunting more. That was exciting, <laughs> dude. Now he come in like a big dummy. What a <laughs> sucker. You're like, as soon as he come a run, he's just a bounce. When we seen him first, when we seen him go up right there, we should have done that right then. Which we was trying to turkey scout. He was running straight towards that turkey. He was we should have just sat there and seen what happened. I was, I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. I don't coyote hunt. <laughs> if we'd have sat there, he'd have probably come up there and stopped for a second trying to figure it out and then I would have blowed his head off. I bet. He was getting a little weird though. He's hit hard. I hit him with a long beard at what? He's somewhere around in here, wasn't he? I believe he was like right here. That ain't but about 25 yards. <laughs> yeah, we'll get some flashlights. He might be laying over there dead. He's hit hard. That first shot about knocked him down. 
I did. It rolled that thing, man. We'll get, we'll eat a sandwich and get some life. Give him about an hour, and then we'll come back and see if we can find him laying down there. He's just an old. You can't shoot a dog like that and him live. I'm telling you. Surely that. not. The other man ain't no way. With a long beard that close, that's like a bad burn rifle, buddy. He was right there. I know. You can't miss him. Dude, from, that was awesome. You can't miss him from that close, buddy. I was just like, <clears throat> And even that farthest shot where he went into the woods, I, I bet you I peppered him on that. I guarantee you peppered him. You peppered his high knee. Let's go back. Let your dad watch. Let's go see dad. That play GoPro this. footage is going to be great. I don't think, I think the first shot is the only thing. This gun kicks so hard. The GoPro turns sideways after the first shot. <laughs> it's okay. Shot. That was awesome. That was insane, man. We'll that was, that was crazy. Like dandy video. Yes, it will. All right, guys. So I just unloaded my gun. First shot was a long beard. And then I put two um, double X's Winchesters in him. First shot, he probably wasn't 25 yards. He was running straight towards our decoy. Um, I thought I had it on his head. I figured he would just fall, but he didn't. But I rolled him real good. Then I hit him with two more shots as he was running off at about 45 yards and then probably about 60 or 70 yards. He's hit hard, but we're gonna go back and get Dylan's dad, Mark, maybe get a quick bite to eat and some better lights, give him a little bit of time to expire if I hit him good enough to kill him. But either way, he won't be eating turkey eggs tomorrow. And I'm happy about that. All right, we just got our bellies full, and now we're going to go back there and try to track this coyote. Hopefully, he just took a big dive over the hill and started rolling, and is dead. We'll be with you here in just a few. I feel like wherever that scoundrel went in here at, there should be some blood. Well, we went and looked for the coyote. And we didn't find no blood, no hair, and we didn't find the dog. He will die. We still saved a fawn and saved some turkeys, so that's what it's all about. All right, guys, that's the end of this trip. We're headed home. We had a big time, found some dead heads, looked for mushrooms, and couldn't get on the turkeys this weekend. They stopped gobbling as soon as they flew down, but we've had a big time and we'll see you soon. Right, guys thanks for tuning in to this episode of our turkey hunting 2020 be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and then hit that notification bell that way you don't miss out on any of our good content coming your way we got some good hunts coming up